Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is finally here, guys. Today is Team of the Year. The excitement levels and the hype levels are through the roof, as we will finally have Team of the Year cards and Team of the Year icons out in this game today in FC24. But there is so much to break down with SBCs, evolutions, and the market in today's video. We got to talk about it all today. What to expect, what SBCs are refreshing, what's going to be moving on the market, especially with an unlimited pack glitch that is going around. Yeah, you heard me correctly. We're going to talk about that a little bit in today's video as well. But if you're excited for Team of the Year and then it's finally freaking here, man, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly, before we go over all the leaks and everything that's coming today, let's take a look at what dropped yesterday just really, really fast because we have an SBC that a lot of people are going to be completing during this promo Cafu was dropped yesterday, and out of all the SBCs we've had in the past two days, Thierry Henry, Zico, and now Cafu, this SBC is probably the best price, not just because it's the cheapest of all those that have been released. Guys, this card on the market two weeks ago was 750,000 coins plus. EA dropped this SBC yesterday for 570k, right around 600,000 coins, 96% upvoted. Get used to seeing this guy because he is going to be in a lot of weekend league teams come team of the year weekend leagues and afterwards right this is a very meta right back he's absolutely insane of course an icon as well so links are not a problem he's brazilian he's got the relentless plus play style he is so good in game and he's only nine squads to do which is going to be a piece of cake when we're opening saved packs and doing upgrade sbcs during team of the year that is an incredible sbc from ea yesterday a one like i said that you're going to see a lot in games in the future that's a great SBC to craft once you start opening your packs and then of course you've got the 83 times 5 defender pack that uh, came out yesterday as well still out for a couple more days didn't really I mean shake things up that much Cafu was definitely the biggest SBC yesterday but if you want a better chance at packing team of the year defenders that pack is out for you we also had marquee matchups with a mega pack as the final tradable reward and we also had a little bit of action in objectives where uh, actually I just hit level 30 I just noticed that so I got to claim my 84 times 20 which is what i'm taking from there but in the milestones tab there's a new team of the year champions objective and it's just some nice bonus packs for playing foot champions champs finals during weekend league you have to get uh 15 wins per weekend to max out this objective but if you're like me you're 11 wins a weekend nine wins a weekend you'll still be able to at least get a decent number of extra packs from just playing foot champions which we're not going to complain about at all all so that's kind of an overview from yesterday's content and uh yeah that's about it one thing i will say is check out this little um infographic here on the screen talking about the season that is upcoming next week january 25th which is actually actually the day the full team of the year is expected to be in packs that is when the new foot champs rewards are going to be refreshed we talked about that in yesterday's video but watch out for that and it looks like as a part of this next season there might be a winter wild cards icon and team of the year honorable mention players as a part of the rewards as we go throughout the season. So that's kind of cool. There's a little bit of a read up there if you want to look more into that. Now, let's talk about, not even talk about the market yesterday. Let's go straight into the action, okay? Because there is a ton going on with this game. And of course, the hype is just about today and what's coming into packs with Team of the Year. And we have official stats and official cards to look at. Now, if you watched the price predictions video yesterday, we already looked at a couple of these cards. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to that right up here. We predicted all the prices of the entire team of your squads, men and women. So check that out after you watch this video. But starting off with the cards coming in packs today, the attackers, this is the official Lionel Messi card. It looks pretty insane, right? Of course, some people are maybe wanting the finesse plus for Messi, but that is an awesome pace boost and the dynamic image just makes the card. What a dynamic. This is the official dynamic as well, according to the leaks. That is unfreaking believable. So he's going to be in packs today. We have got an official Mbappe card, 97 rated with Quick Step, Trivella Plus, 99 pace. Again, a crazy, probably 12 million coin today. Mbappe about to be on the market. It's going to be very tough to pack. And then Erling Holland with Power Shot and Aerial. Those are the men's attackers that are going to be in packs. The women's attackers will be Graham Hansen. Some people are disappointed. This is one of the first disappointments that we saw as these stats were getting leaked of Team of the Year cards because she does not have Finesse Plus, and that's what makes her Trailblazers card in this game so good. Trivella still is very good and Whipped Pass Plus as well for Hansen, but apart from that, look at the stats. An absolutely disgusting card in terms of stats. She is going to be so so good in this game. Hopefully, though, EA don't put these trail um, 
put these playstyle pluses that we don't really want on a lot of these cards. I hope they really boost a lot of them in a way that we want to. Uh, Sam Kerr is the one that's okay, right? Her radioactive card has um, the rapid plus, and then her base card has power header. So it's a combination of those two play styles for her. That's a really good looking card as well with the Chelsea links, of course, 96 rated. And then this card looks really cracked. This might be the most OP women's team leader attacker, Sophia Smith, with quick step and technical plus. She already has some crazy, insane left stick dribbling on this game. That card is going to be wild. So those are the cards that are coming into packs today, of course, along with some, but we don't know exactly how many or who team of the year icons, right? We would guess that Mia Hamm is going to be a team of the year icon that comes out today. A couple other of leaks for uh, cards that are not coming into packs today, but stats that are leaked. Vieira, he might be a part of the team of the year icons, which they're probably going to split into two teams. That is a really cracked looking Vieira card. Don't know the play style pluses for him, but it's a big boost over his base 88 rated version that is in this game. 94 physical. He looks absolutely nuts. We also have the stats uh, officially leaked for R9, which is basically a plus one overall. I think he had plus two passing or dribbling off of his 94 rated prime as well. So that's, of course, going to be a card coming soon. And uh, we had some midfielder stats released. Puteas, 95 shooting with finesse plus. That's a crazy looking Puteas card. Going to be very, very expensive. One of the most overpowered cards in team of the year. And a couple more men's cards leaked in the midfield. Jude Bellingham. I said after seeing this card yesterday, definitely going to be around 5 million coins, 4 to 5 mil, 90 pace, only one stat that is not 90 rated with power shot and technical. That is an unbelievable card. Even that dynamic with the Madrid kit with the gold and the gold, that card looks unbelievable. So I'm super excited to see that one on the game. And then, of course, we've got De Bruyne with finesse shot plus. That is crazy. He's going to be expensive just because the finesses. Um, again, a great looking De Bruyne with the passing stats as well. An incisive pass. He's going to be nuts. And Rodri looks like an absolute beast of a center defensive mid. Maybe even a center back if you would want to play him there. Depending on the work rates, that'll be the next thing that we have to see with these cards. Weak foot, skill move upgrades, work rate upgrades as well. See what EA do to those cards. Specifically with the attackers today like Messi, right? We need a high low work rate change instead of the low low that is on his other cards. So again, it is just the attackers that are coming into packs today and probably some combination of a team one of the team of your icons. Since they're on the loading screen, I would imagine that all those are going to be dropped in this game today. So watch out for that. So that's all that'll be in packs, right? Again, we talked about it in the schedule yesterday. Should you be opening your packs today? All the packs that I will be opening will probably be just my attacker specific packs. And you could argue that it's still not the best time to open those, but I will open those just to have something to open today and hope cross my fingers and hope to get extremely lucky to maybe pack a team of the year card. Now, there's a lot of also a lot of hype also with SBCs, especially after the leaks. And one thing that we often get on the Friday of the first Friday of team of the year is a flashback SBC. And guys, we have three insane leaks that came out yesterday for flashback SBCs. If you guys remember last year, right, we had Sergio Ramos, we had Paul Pogba, and Sadio Mane. This is at that par, at that level, and maybe even above it, right? Conte, we have Alex Morgan, and Bruno Fernandez. Three crazy flashback SBCs. Now, the question is, when are they coming? Who's coming today? I don't know. Maybe there's a leak later on today as we get closer to content of who might be the one that actually drops in SBCs today. It would also make sense. People are speculating that it would be Alex Morgan because she's a striker, right? An attacker. And we're getting the attackers in packs today. But I will counter that by saying last year we had flashback Ramos on the first day of team of the year when the attackers are dropped in packs. So really, we do not know. But whatever flashback comes out today, it's bound to be a really hype card. They usually boost up these flashbacks like crazy. Like those th uh, three from last year, Ramos, Pogba, and Mane. So many people had those cards. Of course, yes, it's during team of the year when everybody is opening packs and able to craft this stuff. And a lot of people were doing the SBCs anyway. But they also bo boost the cards up like crazy. And they're insane players always in game. So... Morgan, Conte, Bruno, one of those is coming today. I really have no idea who it would be. Now, we also have a couple other SBCs leaked, but these might not be dropping today. And I want to have a conversation about this. As with the flashback SBCs, it's a lot of leaks all at one time. Guys, not all these SBCs are going to come in the next two or three days. These are SBCs that will probably be split up over the next week week and a half, maybe even two weeks between the flashbacks and between the Icon SBCs. This was actually leaked two days ago, and we didn't talk about it yesterday. Sawa 
an absolutely incredible icon in this game. She's getting a team of the year icon and it's going to be an SBC. This might be like a 2 million SBC like Hull it is, but it's going to be worth it. Her card in game is cracked and I can only imagine how good this team of the year icon Sawa is going to be. But again, it's probably not dropping today. I would only imagine we get one player SBC today on this game. And I would have to imagine it's going to be a flashback with these team of the year icon SBCs dropping later on during the promo. Also leaked is George Best. George Best is getting an SBC, and I haven't used his card last year, but I was lucky enough to pack... Uh, I haven't used his card this year, but last year I was lucky enough to pack his foot birthday card, and it was crazy. I'm hoping this one has five-star skills. I think his base icon card has technical plus, and he's super-duper cracked in game. So the SBCs that are leaked to come, you know, today... Tomorrow, in the next couple of days, next two weeks in this game, look absolutely mental. There is going to be no shortage of opportunity to rinse your fodder into player SBCs for icons and, and player SBCs, regular section players, not just icons, flashbacks, whatever. And then, of course, upgrade packs as well. So those are all the player leaks that we have right now for SBCs. Now, let's talk more about SBCs. There's some SBCs that are already out that are going to refresh today. The 86 plus base triple threat or UEFA hero player pick, right? This broke onto the scene on last week on Sunday and it was hype because it was just an 86 rated squad and you had a chance at packing the UEFA heroes. That refreshes today, as does the other gamble player pick that we had recently, the 87 plus radioactive dynasties or team of the group stage player pick. Albeit, again, another cheap player pick SBC, but a fun one to do. And those two are definitely going to be in demand today on this game. People are going to be doing those for sure. Now, a lot of SBCs are going away as well. The 83 times 10 is going away. A lot of our other upgrade packs, like the 85 times 2, um, the player pick for Team of the Years, I think that would get refreshed, uh, but it is going away today. It is expiring. The 82 plus upgrades expiring today as well. And your premium upgrades are uh, expiring soon too. The daily gold upgrade, the daily bronze and silver, do those while you can because those are still really nice, especially when you turn in one bronze player and you get a whole pack of bronze players back that you can then put into the daily login upgrade that'll help you keep your club full of bronzes as you turn one in every single day if you don't have enough of those. So make sure you do those as well. Uh, but those are not going away until tomorrow. But yeah, there's the refresh of those 86s today and the 87 plus player pick. I don't think it's going to impact fodder that much. And that's what I want to talk about next. We're going to talk about packs. We're going to talk about the market because today, of course, ooh, we just got a cheeky sale. 1.3 mil now. Let's go, man. All right. Prices are going up. That's what that means. Uh, today on the market, even though it is only the attackers that are in packs. All right, guys, there are going to be an insane number of packs dropped in the store. There's going to be lightning rounds every single hour, multiple of them, tons of crazy packs. Guys, like the figures that EA are going to make off of the store today with these store packs, even with just the attackers in packs and the, the icon team one or whatever it's going to be split up as, it's going to be wild. The supply today is going to be nuts. It happens every single year. You might think, oh, Nate, people are going to save their packs for the full team, right? No, there's going to be people that open their packs like crazy today, and it's going to impact the market a lot. First of all, anything that is in packs is going to get supplied. Even though you think about a Virgil van Dyke card as a good investment, right? He's going out of packs for team of the year, right? He's not going out of packs yet. He's like, what, 80,000 coins right now? This is a card that if I wanted to buy for my team, yes, it might go up a little bit as Foot Champs is starting today. People want to play games. Might go up before content. It's definitely going to be dropping after content. Anything that is in packs in forms um the gold cards like even gold neymar right gold neymar is in packs right now he's gonna drop a lot today because he is gonna get supplied and of course you have to think about fodder when you talk about prices that are gonna drop today as well and fodder prices have been dropping because people are selling in anticipation of that right this is why earlier on in the week we talked about selling our fodder on tuesday when mostly wednesday right wednesday was kind of the best day to sell the fodder Tuesday to Wednesday, and that is exactly what took place, right? 83s were 1.7. They're now 1.3K. We even started to see it yesterday, right? 85s went from like 5.2K. Now they're 4,000 coins. And you're like, Nate, fodder is so low. Yes, it is, but it's going to get supplied. And it, it, 84s might be discard today. Like that's how crazy the fodder supply is going to be today. 86s are going to drop. Even with the demand of those player picks, they are probably going to drop from where they are right now. I mean, weren't 86s like 6.5K earlier last week? Yeah, they were 6.6K a couple of weeks ago before we had these player picks. So they're probably going to go back down to this low 7K range. 87s are going to drop for sure. They're pretty inflated right now still. 
88s are going to drop. Everything is going to drop on fodder because it's going to get supplied. But the flip side is with all of the supply, and we see this all the time. This is why my coin balance is low right now. You see that those coins hit the market then and people go and start to buy cards, whether they're buying cards for their team, which is already starting to happen, or they're buying cards to go and do SBC. So there'll be a big drop with the supply, but then afterwards, you'll most likely see prices start to go up. And if you're going to look at the fodder still specifically, what I would tell you to do is 88s and above, however much those drop, especially with like crazy packs that have been added to the code. We're talking like these packs that give out like 25 players rated 85 or above. Yes, it's untradeable, but that's still pretty crazy. There's a couple of packs in here. This is a base icon pick um, rated up to 91, all items untradeable. That's a, that sounds like a store player pick for me though. I, iconic Icebreaker, right? Th that with a name like that is definitely going to be in the store. A times 15 attackers pack that looks like it's tradable. It doesn't say that it's untradeable, um, but that looks like it could be an SBC pack. We've got all these team of the year, foundations, essentials, nano packs. There's one of them in here that's got like, it's an 87 times 15 or something crazy. Foundations 86 plus, uh, plus pack that is 86, one or higher, one 86 or higher and 10 rare golds. So that is definitely tradable. You have an ultra icebreaker encore pack that is three guaranteed Thunderstruck, Ultimate Dynasty or Winter Wildcard icons and 85 times five inside of it as well all untradeable and 83 times 100 this could be an sbc guys watch out for that same thing with this 85 times seven those could be sbcs um in the, the coming week who knows you have a times 80 defenders pack which is kind of crazy as well it's just all to say we are going to have so many packs in the store there's going to be a lot of supply so if you're going to watch the fodder market today just know that still with all the SBCs that are out with the supply today that is going to bring coins to the market which will mean people have coins to go into SBCs which is why if you're going to invest in fodder invest in the high tier if you think that throughout all the supply fodder prices could go up which they did during Black Friday remember Black Friday we thought fodder was going to rise and it didn't except for the 89s the 90s and the 91s so watch that closely today but I wouldn't touch that until after those packs are open and then for the rest of the market too we're already starting to see prices that are really going up a lot like let me show you some examples guys uh graham hansen right this card since the team of the year doesn't have the finesse plus people are going back to the market and buying a card like this i mean on wednesday she was 800k i remember on the youtube video wednesday we looked at graham hansen she was 800,000 coins and now she has gone up to 980k almost up 200,000 coins in just two days i bought a franc ribery yesterday for 476,000 coins after people saw how crazy looking his team of the year icon looks which i don't even know if we looked at that leak can we look at that leak real quick frank ribery team of the year icon right this is his card two play styles pluses that are unknown but he got a plus four boost 92 pace 92 dribble 90 shooting and passing and of course it's ribbery so he's five star five star that dynamic image looks really nice as well that is his official card people saw that like oh my goodness he's gonna be so expensive which is why in the last couple videos i mentioned him he's definitely gonna go up so i picked one of him up he is flying as expected the whole entire rest of the market is just starting to trend this way but it's the most popular it's the most meta cards that are going the highest first vvd winter wild cards right he's like 1.7 million coins now this is why i tweeted out yesterday that that prices are just starting to rise and it's going to probably keep going because there are going to be so many more coins on the market today that people are going to want to put into these cards now some of the market rises today will depend on who we get as an sbc if we get striker alex morgan as an sbc today and it's really cracked some of the strikers may not rise up as much some strikers may drop right and then links to alex morgan could potentially rise so watch out for that if we get angolo conte or if we get a bruno fernandez today center midfielders if the sbcs are really cracked could drop as people sell to go buy cards to do the sbc for you know conte or Bruno, and then they would sell their center mid to replace them with the one that's in the team. So that sort of thing could definitely happen today as well. But I do expect it to be a really good day for the market, right? A really good day in terms of prices that will be fluctuating. And if you invested in any of those out of packs cards that are not getting a team of the year that you think could go up like this Garincha yesterday at 1.2 million coins, he's 1.35 right now on the market. There will still be a little bit of fluctuation today. There might be still just a little bit of panic too. So if you're looking for a card for your team still, you might still have an opportunity. I still have coins up here ready to go. Oh my goodness. Com Vincent Company is 630K. I bought them at 530. And if that one sells, 
The next cheapest is 835. That's why I picked up some heroes yesterday. I picked up Futre and Company because these cards are incredibly rare. I know they're in the player pick, but they are so rare. It is mad. So the market's doing really well, and I think it's going to continue to do well as well. Now, let's talk about this pack glitch because it actually impacts the market a little bit. And at first, I was like, nah, I don't think it's going to impact it that much. But as a part of this unlimited pack glitch that is going around, um, it's very, I guess I should say it's very limited to the number of people that are doing it. You can't just go into your account right now and do it. Uh, but there is a way where people are making coins from it. And that probably is helping the market rise up a little bit. But I don't think it's making the market rise that much. I think it's natural demand that is really making this market rise a lot. And only a little bit of that market demand is really because of the people doing this glitch. Now, I'm not going to explain the glitch too much. Uh, it's all over Twitter and all over YouTube on how to do it because you can get banned, right? With all these glitches, there's actually a very high likelihood that you can get banned. I know people already that have gotten coin wiped on these accounts and it only works, guys, for brand new accounts. You have to make a brand new account. You have to abandon everything that you've done with evolutions, with your team so far this year. You have to make a brand new account that's how you even start the glitch in the first place. So it's not like something you can just do on your account right now, but it, it is 100% a, it's an unlimited pack duplication glitch, basically, um, where you just keep claiming the objectives. Like remember the weekly trader objective from a couple of weeks ago that was just glitched where you bought those cards and it lets you claim it and you could claim it three times and then it was done. It's like that, but it's unlimited through the objectives that you complete. So um, yes, there are objectives that give you coins, but it, there's not that many people that are getting a ton of coins from it because it just takes a lot of work and effort to go do that. And everybody is getting packs from it because that is the easiest thing to do. But once again, I've already heard of people getting coin wiped and their accounts not getting banned, but coin wiped. And it's just a matter of time before EA shut it down. I hope it doesn't ruin the game today, really, because this glitch is it's starting to get out of control because tons of people are doing it and they're stacking up packs. I know a guy that has 3,000 plus packs because he's been grinding that glitch for a few hours, more than a few hours, like almost half the day. He's got 3,000 packs and player picks now stacked up for team of the year and the cards that come out today. Again, a lot of those packs are untradeable, um, so that won't impact the market. But for some people that are grinding that with the coin glitch as a part of it, uh, it takes a lot of time, but you can get some coins. I'm not recommending you do it at so all, uh, whatever at so, I can't even speak, right? I don't recommend doing it because you probably will get banned. EA bans stuff like this all the time. Think about the Trickster Plus glitch from earlier this year. A couple years ago, there was an unlimited Rivals Rewards claim glitch in the web app. People got banned, like their accounts banned for life during that as well. So I'm not messing with it. I wouldn't if I were you as well. Um, and really, I just hope that it doesn't detract from the hype of Team of the Year today because it's about Team of the Year today, not about how to get unlimited packs, right? That sounds fun and stuff, but... It never ends up good when you cheat and go behind the system like that. So without that being said, a little bit more about team of the year today. We probably will have a 12th man player pick available today or sometime during the weekend. These are the three players that will be in it. Cristiano Ronaldo, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Federico Valverde. And we know who's winning already. It's Ronaldo. There is no contest with this vote. Ronaldo will be 12th man in team of the year, but there is a consolation. Fede Valverde and Trent Alexander-Arnold both should get honorable mention cards dropped next week. That is what happened last year. Valverde had an honorable mention and so did Cancelo. And they were both in the boat also with Holland and Holland won and got 12th man. So Ronaldo will not be in packs today or anything like that. He, he will still have to have his vote done. Uh, but there should be a player pick dropped in game for a 12th man vote. And I don't know anything about the 12th women's vote. But that should be uh, dropped at some point on the game really soon as well. Last thing we haven't talked about yet, evolutions. We should be getting an evolution today as well. We looked at the leaks already. We know about those leaks that are coming. There's two midfielder evolutions that are leaked. The team of the year visionary Evo and also the team of the year unsung hero, uh, which both are paid and give really good boosts. But again, it's gold rares or non rares or maybe silvers that you're going to turn into this Evo. Um, it looks like it could be pretty good. The upgrade's nice, but um, you know, just be careful with midfielders. If this Evo has a lot of hype around it, which it looks like it's going to be a mid. I like. I look at it and I see a six out of ten Evo. Like you can't Evo somebody who already has been upgraded for you unless you have a really low rated card. So for that, I don't think it's going to be that crazy. I think more so people are going to be crazy today about the SBCs opening up the first amount of packs and just the start of Team of the year last thing i want to talk about is some of you guys have been asking me nate how are you going to pack sophia smith and Lionel messi who you want to pack so bad 
EA has also added to the code an MLS or NWSL premium and a regular upgrade pack to go along with the top five leagues. That is incredible, especially because there's not that many golds that are MLS or NWSL compared to the other leagues. So you're telling me there's a chance, and there is, and I'm really excited for that when those upgrade packs drop later in the week. So guys, it's going to be a crazy day today. I know I talked about that uh, the glitch for too long, and just it just makes me feel like... Ah, I don't know. I get frustrated those things, man, because those things shouldn't exist in the game, and it really could detract from the hype today of Team of the Year. I hope it doesn't. I also hope that the servers go, don't go down today. We haven't had problems with servers this year, but I remember two years ago in FIFA 22 where the servers in this game dropped for literally, I think it was like 30 minutes to 45 minutes on the Friday of Team of the Year because... Um, everybody was trying to get onto the game and the servers couldn't handle everybody getting on. So I hope that that does not happen today. We'll be live streaming the drop, looking at the content, everything that comes out today. And of course, watching the market on these team of the year cards, the icons that come out, the SBCs and everything. That link is down below in the description. Make sure you check out our price predictions video. I'll put it again right up here. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan with Accountant. Happy team of the year day. Peace. Out.